An Intrusion Detection System, or IDS, is a software program or device that monitors logs and detects security breaches. Its purpose isn't to prevent an attack, but instead to alert the IT security team of a possible threat. An IDS monitors data packets for malicious or unauthorized traffic and works by comparing packets to the signatures of known attack types or by detecting anomalies in activity. It does this with one of two common detection methods. The first method is signature-based detection. Malicious packets have a unique fingerprint that an IDS uses to detect their presence. These fingerprints are referred to as signatures. Signature-based detection, also referred to as a pattern matching or dictionary recognition, looks for patterns in network traffic and compares them to known signatures. These signatures are updated by the IDS vendors. Because of this, signature-based detection can't detect unknown attacks. It can only detect attacks identified in the signature files, so it's important to update signature files on a regular basis. The second detection method is anomaly-based detection, which is also known as behavioral or heuristic detection. Anomaly-based detection defines a baseline of normal network traffic and then monitors it. It looks for anything that falls outside that baseline. Thresholds are used to identify any deviations from that baseline. When the threshold is reached, an alert is generated. Anomaly-based systems can respond to some unknown attacks even if they don't have a corresponding signature file. There are also several types of intrusion detection systems themselves. A host-based IDS is software installed on a host system such as a server. It monitors system data on that host and analyzes any changes that are made to operating system files, software applications, or system logs. If it detects malicious changes, it raises an alert. You install a network-based IDS, on the other hand, at the edge of a network. This is a physical device that monitors network traffic in real time. It monitors traffic coming into and going out of a network and triggers an alert if it detects unusual traffic. A VM-based IDS is just like the other types, but it's implemented remotely via a virtual machine. And a perimeter-based IDS is a sensor device that triggers an alarm if someone attempts to access actual physical servers or other critical network infrastructure components. A perimeter-based IDS can alert you to trespassers and can easily be added to existing physical barriers. While an IDS maintains a passive security role within a network, an intrusion prevention system, or IPS, maintains an active one. An IPS performs the functions of the IDS, but can also react when security breaches occur. It can terminate or restart sessions as a response to suspicious traffic. Using both an IDS and IPS on your network would provide the best network protection for your operation. If a malicious packet makes its past the IPS, the IDS serves as a backup and alerts the security operations team. Implementing an IDS or IPS can provide several benefits to your organization. In addition to providing increased security, it also helps you with compliance. Most organizations are subject to industry, federal, and local regulations. An IDS or IPS can help provide documentation about what's happening on a network in real time and can be used to show that an organization is compliant with all regulations. Information you gather from an IDS can help you determine the frequency, volume, and threat level of attacks that may have targeted your network. This is helpful for risk analysis. An IDS can also help you with response times. Because it provides immediate alerts, security teams can respond quickly to resolve threats. The knowledge you gather from an IDS can also help your team determine new security strategies.